what's up y'all let's take the time to sit down and go over blues and understand what's gonna happen this is all about the blues check my PDF and I'm very excited um not really um but uh what we're gonna do is show you how to win so in my PDF I explain that to get your bias and get your trend first in the morning and however y'all do that do it but for me going back with the bias of the blues I go with the longest terms of blue and I see we're gonna look on the GU we might look through all of them but we look at the GU and we see that the longest term is pointing up we see that this is against the trend it does have help it does have help but that's probably why it won right here so what we're doing is looking for downs because it's against the trend we see the four hour one hour pointing down we have our signal blue chart arrow momentum was definitely in uh, even right now is a good time to check the trade because these are both super 15s we got our 15 minute signal and this is our entry point with the blue going you know there's our blue so we go against it we're going with the trend and that trade's going to win so UCAD, I mean you Euro USD, same situation. You have a blue with no help against the trend, so you're looking for downs. That's why this blue ray going to the downside plus this one hour is pretty good. So this EU with the super 15, we're taking our trade off the 15 minute signal and we're going to the downside. UJ, it is the longest term is down. We have it pointing to the downside and it's against the trend. So our signals with the trend say up, our four hours say up, uh, the one hour has went down and touched the band, but now we have new blues. So we have new blues and these blues are trending to the upside. So right here is a great entry point, you know right here was a great entry point but as soon as this 15 minute signal appeared with DX and momentum it was a trade to the upside and uh, the UC the UC longest term of blue is pointing up the 4 hour is up with the blue red okay we have a 1 hour pointing up as well so this trade is going up because it's with the trend we're going with the trend and look at our signals telling us that it's going to go up and this is the um, band touch right here since this cross happened as soon as the signal ended it has been going up and that's really it uh, yeah <laughs> uh, let me show you 45 okay so we went our trade to the downside Correct. We went our side trade to the downside on the EU. Correct. We went our trade up on the UJ. Correct. And then we went our trade up on the UC. Correct. Now, this is when the next part of the blue strategies come into part. This is when you have to realize you have blues on the five minute on the GU and super so you know this is probably going to go up even though this is crossing in a little bit once this gets done crossing this is going to go to the orange band uh, this is not necessarily the trade but if you have good entry it is a trade you see the EU we're waiting on the 15 minute signal the UJ we're waiting on the 15 minute signal and so what we're doing with the UCAD because this is down this is down this is down this is down we already have momentum DX going into play and just watch for these you see what happens when this signal gets right here on the GU this is basically the trade right here you have momentum DX well momentum at least and you have blue chart arrow you have a mem on the five minute and you have your help 
so you took it with the 15 minute signal going with your bias of the long term blues and you're gonna win you know with the DX same thing with the EU it's at the bottom bands right here you know you can correlate that with good momentum going to the upside and you can see like this UC is has a super has a blue on there has a super on the 15 so this trade is gonna go down and that's what it does that goes up that goes up and we're gonna go just a little bit forward just to show you that uh, not every single time that uh, the blues appear you know they're gonna work and what I mean by that is like right here see this looks so tempting to get into the trade to the upside because you have these blues on the five but we're waiting on the 15 minute signal and you don't get it so that's why it's a bong hole puckering trade that's why you don't take it unless there's a 15 and we're watching GU and I know this is a good one because of this GU trade let's see right that was that's whenever I entered the trade right here okay this is the only part I want to play on the GU look at look at this we have a four hour blue pointing to the downside it's the same thing so this is 11 this is 10 let me show you something This is a good trade on the EU to the upside with the 15 minute signal with the blue. Going with the long longest terms of blue. That's the reason why this trade wins. This GU is a little bit harder to trade, but if you're recognizing if you're on the GU, you do see this blue chart arrow already. You do see this five minute red, failed red, but it's still going down. You see it bouncing off the bottom bands and you see a blue on the 15 low key you have the 15 minute super but with this blue you're really just looking for help it's touching the band so you're thinking about it's going up and the only thing that makes it a good trade is I mean right there like that's that's a good trade I'm just like no it's not really for me you know unless we had more help so my help would come from you know more signals on the five or another signal on the 15 because of that that's a good trade because of the momentum and the DX those are great trades and that's correlating and that's that's what I want to show like so in this time period this was actually GU going up EU going up UJ going down and the UC going down so that's why I'm talking about when they correlate. They correlate really well when the blues happen. And you see it went up to here. And then back down. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And here goes the 11 o'clock bias. Oh, let's see. Which is really, really good. That's actually 11 o'clock right here. Right there. So this is a little bit after 11. So everything usually reverses. We have our blue. It's going up. We have our signal on EU. Our blue on the 15. It's going up. UJ had his blues and stuff. And now I got his 15 minute signal. It's going down. UC has his blues and 15 on the one hour and four hour. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. It's going down. So that's basically how you read the blues. Happy hour and that's, you know, it went down, it went up. Here it goes up, up, and just a little extended right here. So he extended it uh, just a little bit for us. And I appreciate that. Just appreciate that MT. I really do. And uh, 
yeah so just just closing I want to say that usually at the end of the room uh, I didn't add this and I'll, I'll add it in the PDF usually at the end of the room you might see if you're trading the blues you want to know the direction which way it's heading and so it's the same thing you know here's your GU trade you had your supers going to the upside you had your supers going to the upside so that's a trade to the upside you had your one hour signal to the band so that's a good trade good Nico good good trade being biased with the long term of blue because we waited for our arrows now uh, the EU right here it is going down you got your 15 minute signal and you got your super pink I know you have this signal here but you got these blues leading the way to the downside going with the trend so you're just gonna have to wait to this four hour closes and then you're probably gonna see this go back up and actually <laughs> FOMC did shoot GU up and the EU up on this day so I shot the UJ more down and it shot the UC down too and you know that just by going off of you know your longest turn of the blues your bias and you're going you're going you're going you're going you're going you're going and you don't see any blues telling you it's gonna go up you don't see any blues no signal so this just kept going down same thing with the UCAD it's going down it's going down it's going down you see your signals you see your signals you see your signals on the one hour and your blue and so you're going down you know this is against the trend you were looking for ups right here was a good trade to the upside since you had the ups to the upside that was a good trade to the upside being biased with like with the trend these are since this is against the trend this was like the only to trade to the upside that really made sense just because yeah, it was really the only trade that made sense, and you had to be in the trade. Let's see, it was a good time to get in right here. So, Jazz friends, 15 minute strategy. Do we have a 15 minute signal? It must be at least a small red, but red pinks are always better. Is a signal with the trend, and it's a price bouncing off of orange off a of line. If you have all these three, three points, take it with DX and momentum in your favor. And he shows this. He empty shows this. And while he's showing this, we're looking at the UC. He's talking in the chat. I can show you the chat, but he's talking in the chat. And there's our five. Same thing. We're waiting on this 15 minute to take the trade. And then we look at this trend, and the trend is up. The trend is up. The trend is up. Right? Because we're looking for trades against the trend. And I mean, trades with the trends are. And we're just waiting for that 15 minute signal. And it comes in, we take the trade. 47. So it went up to 54. A little bit more. A little bit more right there 57 so there you go 10 pit moves off a 15 minute signal and it went up a little bit more so there you go and that's a wrap guys enjoy the PDF read it study it uh, revisit the uh, blues just reword it watch the video again uh, this part right here is just gold just looking at this part just getting your bias first long term and just try it on any of your videos and I bet you it works you're gonna take better trades and hey this is Julian's way this is Julian's strategy with the blues this is Julian's blues y'all so go ham y'all go ham